what's going on guys today I'm going to show you how to access the hidden features of the driver display there's actually a lot going on in the back but this one button allows you to access a lot of the things that are programmed into this thing so let's get things started the first thing we need to do is we need to hold this button for 10 seconds so let's do that right now one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve there you go so 12 seconds i count a little fast so you know around roughly 10 seconds now if you if your system is not unlocked which is default then you won't see as many items as i do in my car um actually this is all you're gonna see okay so from zero to ten that's it so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go into this option number 10 and we're gonna unlock it so that you can see more uh, more information in regards to your car in order to unlock it you're gonna need a code and I'll i'm gonna show you how to get your code so you toggle it back to uh, option one we're gonna hold and down for a couple of seconds to uh, to select this and we are gonna just keep toggling by keep clicking on it and what we want is the VIN number so the last five digits which are eight seven six seven one this pertains to my car I'm gonna add up those last five digits so 8 plus 7 is 15 15 plus 6 is 21 21 plus 7 is 28 and 28 plus 1 is 29 that is the unlock code so remember that number 29 that's my car your car is gonna be a little different so I know the number is 29 I'm gonna go back to go back to the main screen just hold up down for two seconds one two three maybe three seconds now I'm gonna go into the unlock feature so toggle down until you see the unlock to confirm that hold down for three seconds one two three okay so now I am gonna input the code which for my car is 29 for your car it's gonna be different because your the last five digits of your VIN number will be different so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen up to 27 28 29 i'm going to hold in for three seconds to confirm this is the code so here we go one two three so now as you can see it is unlocked and if i will go in here then it will say um sorry let me go back if i were to go into that just to show you hold on for three seconds it clearly says lock is off so it's unlocked I'm gonna go back to the main screen by just holding on to the sec the button for three seconds. So remember, anything after 10 was really hidden from you. So now you got 13 fuel tank and battery capacity, the temperature of the car. Um, I don't know why this is named that, but we'll go into the uh, what's in there. And you have four. You have a few more options that I think. Um, BMW mechanics can access but now you know the code so now you can access it so first of all identification just tells you what your car is the VIN number and so on and so forth system reset does a quick reset of your system so let's check it out hold down for three seconds and then we'll confirm that so that's a system reset it just resets all the lights um, that's a system reset okay so this goes on for about uh, 15 seconds okay and I'm done so I want to go back to my main screen hold down for three seconds okay start roller I to be honest with you I don't know what that is and I don't I probably don't want to go in there okay but what I do want to show you here is the last feature I want to show you is the fuel tank and battery capacity this part is actually very important especially when you're buying a used car you want to make sure that it is still good so go under battery capacity and remember that even though the my BMW which is a 2015 has a 28 kilowatt kilowatt hour battery but the use usable amount is only about 18.8 .8. now I bought this car used after 22,000 miles and notice that it's now registered 18.4 which is still pretty good remember the battery is warranty for eight years or 100,000 miles whichever comes first 
and BMW promised that the life of the battery should be 70% or more within that eight years. And if it's not, they will replace it for you. So that is, that is it from me. We're going we're gonna to talk more about this BMW i3 later. Enjoy your day.